Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be part two of my most anticipated reads of 2017. Yes, I am very, very excited about this. I have nine more books to talk about today that are coming out or have probably already come out this year. And we're going to talk about them. Yes, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this. The first one is The House of Furies or House of Furies by Madeline Rue and this just sounds really really awesome. It's YA, it's horror, it has pictures in it. It's about this young girl who moves into this um, inn if I'm not mistaken and she starts helping out there and working there and um, from what I gather there might be some supernatural stuff going on. I'm not sure but it sounds spooky and awesome and I'm very very excited about that one. Also the cover is really cool looking. Um, and the next one is The Gravedigger's Son by Patrick Moody. This one is a middle grade, oh, mostly all these are middle grade books. Um, you guys know this, you know this. Um, this one is um, about this young boy who's a gravedigger and his whole family line is pretty much gravediggers and they help people move on when they're, you know, dead, laid to rest. And um, I don't know how the grave digging comes into that, but from what I gather, there's like witches in the outskirts in the woods, and they don't want anything to do with that, and they actually want eternal chaos in the world, and they will do anything to make that happen. So it just sounds really interesting and really adventurous and fun, and I'm excited about it. Also, the cover is really cool. Um, the next one is Hunting Prince Dracula. This is book two in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Carrie Maniscalco. I loved book one, Stalking Jack the Ripper. I have it on my shelf. It's rare these days that I love a YA book, but I loved that one. And I'm very, very excited about the sequel. The next one is um, book three in the Shadow House series by Dan Blocky. This one um, is the third and final in the series. I think it comes out in August. I'm not too sure. Um, but I still haven't read the second one, but I'm waiting until October to read that because I like to read my scary books in October. And this one comes out in August from when I gather, so they'll have both be out by then and I'll be able to read them. So I'm excited about that. And the next one is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Ship of the Dead, which is book three in the Magnus Chase series. And I'm very, very excited about this. The cover is amazing. It just, like, just got revealed. It's blue and looks epic and awesome. Still haven't read book two, but I'm gonna save it until like September. Hopefully, I can wait till then because I like to read my books in a series really close together. So that's just, you know, how I do it. Um, that comes out in October. Yeah, so a pretty long way away. Um, the next one is The Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting by Joe Ballerini. This one is another middle grade book, middle grade horror slash comedy I don't know um, it's about this young girl who's a babysitter and she's also a monster hunter and she goes on this job babysitting and she sort of you know gets there and there's some monster stuff going on instead and it just sounds really fun and just it sounds more like it sounds like Arl Stein would write this it does and it just, again it sounds fun it sounds like goosebumps and I'm down for that um, then the next one is the girl with or and the ghost machine by because um, I have a picture of it, but it's so small. By Lauren DeStefano. And uh, the only thing I've ever read by Lauren DeStefano is Wither, and I did not like that at all. Um, but I have one of her other middle grade books over here. I think... I forgot what it's called already. Um, but this one sounds really interesting. The cover of it is really spooky looking. But it's about a young girl whose father um, is building this ghost machine because he wants to bring his wife back to life, her mother. And he's just down there all the time. She never sees her dad and she's tired of it. So she decides that she's going to either help him fi figure everything out and fix it and make it work or she's going to destroy it. Yes. So it just sounds really interesting and I'm very excited about that one. Uh, I think that one comes out in June. Um, the next one is Lemons by Melissa Savage. This one is coming out on the 5th. Oh wait, it might already be out. I'm not sure. But I'm very, very excited about this. I contacted the publisher to get a copy of it to talk about it on my channel because I'm very, very excited about it. It's about these two kids in this town that is obsessed with um, Bigfoot and this young girl moves to town and she meets this young boy who runs his own detective agency trying to figure out if Bigfoot is real or not. And she sort of helps him out in a way. But from what I gather, it also deals with a lot of grief and just new surroundings and it just sounds really, really amazing, and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, then the cover of it's cute, too. It is. Um, then the last one, which is the one I'm most, most excited about out of all of these ones on here, 
and that is The World's Greatest Detective by Caroline Carlson. This one, I'm just, I'm, oh my gosh, the cover of it. Can we just take a second to admire it? I don't know where I'm putting it. I'm probably putting it over my face. Do you see how beautiful this cover is? Just, it's amazing. The illustrations on it is amazing. And it's about these kids who live on this street that's just full of detectives. And they're going to enter this contest to see who's the world's greatest detective. And one of them is an apprentice to a detective. And one of them feels like she's the best detective in the world. And they come together to solve this mystery. And then from what I gather, which I hope is true, a murder happens. And so that is thrown in. And they have to figure that out too. So... I'm so excited for this one. But yeah, so that is it for today. I will see you guys next time with another video. Let me know if you're excited about any of these books and if you're going to check any of them out. If I got, you know, got you interested in them. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.